<laughs> My talk of the table is tennis superstar Venus Williams. Love her. This seven-time Grand Slam winner, did you hear that? Seven times has fought for women to get equal pay throughout her legendary career. Now, in honor of Women's History Month, Williams and her company, Eleven, are spearheading, spearheading rather, the privileged tax initiative to draw attention to the gender pay gap. Listen to these numbers. White women in this country make 82 cents for every dollar men do, that men made in 2020. And the gap is even greater for women of color. Oh, no. During this campaign, people who buy something from participating companies can choose to donate a dollar at checkout. 100 percent. Did you get that part? 100 percent of the proceeds go to the nonprofit group Girls, Inc., which works to create more opportunities for girls. It's a great organization. And recently... Rightly honored Venus Williams, Tina Fey, and some others. Venus Williams, it's so good to see you. Hello, hello, hello. So you have been fighting Hi, this good battle morning. for... Hi, everybody. Good, mor good morning. Oh, oh. You've been fighting this fight for a very long time. Did you, at, did, did you have a I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore moment that you finally said, okay, that's enough? Because I'm thinking about the letter that you wrote back in the Wimbledon days to say, this ain't right. Yeah, I... I came into inequality at the young age of 16 when I played my first Grand Slam, and that's a rude awakening. So I don't want any other young women to have to face that. And you had the stats up there. Um, women are earning 82% on the dollar, 82 cents of the dollar that men are earning. And if you're a minority, if you're living out of the country of USA, then it gets even worse. So it's important to call attention to this, that people know this, because women not only need equal opportunity, but it gives them opportunity to grow and become strong and to help their families families, and all yeah. these things are so important. No, you wrote back in 2006 uh, to the New York Times, with power and status comes responsibility. Wimbledon has power and status. The time has come for them to do the right thing by paying men and women the same prize money. And you were the first woman, Venus, who got the same prize money as the man, Roger right. Federer at the time. What were your thoughts back then when that happened? Did you say, okay, finally, finally? But we're still having this conversation. Yeah, so it's a... Exactly. It was a conversation we'd been having for 30 years, and we'd be rejected thir over 30 years, and we talked to the Grand Slam Committee. So many amazing things have happened since that time. I mean, recently we saw women's soccer uh, garner equal pay, so that was a super exciting time. Now it's Women's History Month, and so it's a very important time to talk about this. And I've partnered with my active wear brand, Eleven, to create an initiative called Privilege Tax, where we talk about this very subject. And we had some amazing partners like you had on the screen, Tracy Anderson, mm -hmm. WTHA. Charities, um, Captivate, and I've also partnered with Credit Karma as well on this to make sure that companies that are giving resources, time, education to their managers to make sure they're not hiring with biases, to make sure they're giving leadership opportunities to women. And I love that companies like Credit Karma have taken that opportunity to make that happen in their organization, but there's got to be more organizations. And people do want to do this, but it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. So that's why we're right. talking about it, so people know. And organizations can get involved. Venus, uh, how you doing? Nate Burleson here. I have to say this. As a NFL player, former NFL player, I would look up to you because you stood for so much, so much more than your sport. You transcended tennis. Um, and now, as a father of a young girl, I want to say I appreciate you because you are one of the women that I point to and tell her you can accomplish anything, not just what people tell you you can do. Um, but you also know that that sexism isn't just a woman's issue. Um, how can men get involved and help, you know, change what is this gap in payment and wage? Absolutely. And I'm so excited to partner with Girls, Inc., a national organization that helps girls to be bold and strong. And girls need to know that they have these same opportunities. And it's, it's just so important that this happens. So I'm, I'm very excited. And I forgot part of the question now. <laughs> so what was the second part? I'm sorry. How can men be like, allies? What are we talking about? Yeah, how can, how how can, can men oh, be absolutely. allies? How can we get Thank involved you. with helping because close that, was an that important gap? Question. <laughs> We're yeah, here to help, it was Venus. Very important. So, <laughs> yeah. thank you. I needed it. It's early for me. I'm not an early riser, we but appreciate you. Uh, it's important because men's, like you said, 
you, men are the fathers, men are the husbands, we're the brothers, we're, th those are our moms, those are our friends, those are our colleagues. Men are an integral part of this solution. And at this moment, there are definitely more men in power than women. I just read a statistic that there's 8% of women that are CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. So men, it's important mm -hmm. that men are a part of the solution and a part of this conversation and actually taking a role in leading this. So, so important. And I love that you asked that. Mm. Uh, Venus, it's Vlad. Um, the pay gap is even worse. It's more stark for black women. How has your experience as a black woman shaped your perspective on this issue? Absolutely. It is very true that that gap widens when you're a, a black woman, a woman of minority. And it's important that we talk about that as well. Um, I'm just very happy that as an African-American woman that I can speak to this and make this known. So it's a very important role that I never thought I'd play. I, I just wanted to win Wimbledon. I got there. It wasn't equal. And it's just led me to just this place where I'm able to do more than I ever could have thought I could do for myself. It's just, it's just been a dream to be a part of it, to be honest. And, and you are still doing it. You know the Oscars are Sunday night. Venus Williams, who are you rooting for in the best actor category? <laughs> <laughs> who are you it, rooting it, for? It, it, um, no. Maybe Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith said playing your dad maybe, was one of the right? great honors of his life. And to sit at the table with you when he won a big award recently, he said, was one of the highlights of his career. I'm wondering if your dad has seen the movie and what he thought, and if you're going to be going to the Oscars. Yeah, I'm so happy to call Will not only the person who's memorialized my family story, but also my friend. Mm. And he just portrayed my dad so closely. There were moments, and you know, all this was filmed during COVID, so there'd be moments where we were listening to the live stream or watching the live stream being filmed, and I would hear my dad's voice, and it was so, it gave me goosebumps how close he yeah. got to my father. Mm. And of course, we can't forget An Anjanou and how yeah. she played your my mom. mom. She yes. got it so right. We cannot forget wow. the conversation. Then the girls who learned to play tennis, that's not easy to do. They learned and they made it realistic. And I'm so excited that we can share this moment at the Oscars. Yeah, I think they nailed if we it. Win. Has your dad seen the movie? Yeah. Did your dad see the movie? Did he watch? Yeah, you know, my dad and I, we don't talk a lot about tennis, but he's definitely really <laughs> proud of what has been achieved right. in the film. It's weird. We don't talk about work, but no, he's very proud. All right, Venus Williams, thank you. We are always cheering you on. Thank you so much thank for coming on you. this morning. Thanks a lot. Right. Thank you.